Hi everybody, I'm Sips, and welcome to An Evening with Sips. Tonight, we're going to play some Limbo. Um, this game is fantastic. It, it really is. We'll start a new game. Um, before we start, I just want to say thanks very much to Jason Dillon, otherwise known as uh, Shotgun Sam 419 for gifting this to me over Christmas. And what a nice present. I mean, this game is amazing. Um, let's, uh, let's start right away, and, uh, and I'll show you what it's all about. You're, uh, you start off uh, in this forest. You're, you're a little kid uh, sleeping in the forest. And uh, the minute you press one of the arrow keys to, to get going, uh, your little dude's uh, eyes open, and you're ready to start your adventure in the forest. Um, you got a cool little haircut, and um, I mean, you're, you're a little guy. You're, you're just a little tiny guy, a uh, little cute guy, little legs, and um, you don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, and, and if you're playing, obviously, you don't know what's going on either, because the story just unfolds as you play. It's a, uh, it's a puzzle platformer with, with physics and stuff, and um, it's not super unforgiving. It's, it's a lot of trial and error, uh, which is fun. You know, there's lots of little ways to die, like if I fall into these spikes and uh, I'm dead. Um, and you just, sort of, um, you just sort of figure things out as you go. So, arrow keys to move. Uh, up arrow to jump and uh, control to uh, to grapple onto things and and push and pull um, as we're gonna have to do here we're gonna have to uh, to pull this thing out so I'm just holding control pull it all the way out it's got a little rope there so I can't pull it any further and uh, and then if I just press up when I'm close to a ledge it will just sort of climb up or jump if same with ropes you just jump onto them if you don't uh, press up while you're on a rope you can swing back and forth. I can't swing back and forth on this one though. It's too small. There's this really big piece of wood, you know, attached to the bottom of the rope. So, um, but as you can see, like, you know, the physics and stuff, you can you can make this teeter and stuff. You can jump off it. I'll jump off this way though, because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to fall from too high because uh, you can die from falling from too high. Uh, you know, just like you can in real life. You know, like if you fall from too high, you might break your legs. Or like, you know, for very high, you could fall and uh, land on your legs, and then your legs could just like go up through your torso and it, through your head as well, uh, which you know is, is quite the way to go. I don't even know if it would happen like that. Maybe you'd splatter first, but um, no, and and hopefully none of us have to find it. Um, so I'm on this boat, and there's no going back now. Um, I, I just crossed this lake. You, you drown in water. You can't swim. You're too small. Too small to know how to swim. Nobody taught you. Uh, you had an awful childhood, obviously. And, uh, and it continues, because, um, as we'll see, things don't really get better for the little guy here. Uh, but here we go. Pull this boat ashore so that we can use it to, uh, to climb up here. And um, a lot of this stuff, the first time you see it, I'm probably spoiling for you as well. I mean, if you played this before, you can appreciate that, you know, I'm just, I'm just sort of blasting through some of this easy stuff first. Um, but uh, if you've never played it, I mean, hopefully I don't spoil too much for you. But in saying that, I'm not doing a full playthrough. I'm just going to play for like 20, 25 minutes or whatever, just to show you guys what it's like. Um, help showcase this phenomenal game. I, I just love everything about it. It just looks so slick. I love like the art and everything. Even though it's in black and white, um, it just it looks fantastic. I love it. Um, I just, uh, I can I can hold control on these bear traps to move them out. And uh, the first time I came here, I, I actually tried to jump over both of them, and uh, it didn't work. Um, you know, if I jump into this bear trap here, you see, um, it doesn't take any prisoners. It, uh, it really just kills you straight away. So so the trick is to uh, to pull the bear traps apart, and then jump over each of them individually. And that's what we'll do, um, if, if I could jump properly, obviously. Which I, I don't seem to be able to do. I tend to hold the up arrow, which just does repeated jumps instead of just tapping it. So I'll just tap it there, tap it again, and uh, there we did it. Um, it's really important in this game as well to sort of look around at at what's going on in, in like the scenery and stuff because there's always little clues as to as to how to solve the puzzles. There's always something that'll go on, and you got to test the physics as well. Like in this case, there's this disgusting rotting fish carcass? It looks like a fish. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But um, it's too heavy, and it weighs down this branch, and obviously we want to be able to swing on this rope to get to that ledge. So what we need to do is um, take a look around, find this bear trap, and uh, just position it underneath the carcass, so that when we jump on it next time, we'll snap the trap, 
carcass will come off of the rope uh, in a disgusting fashion, leaving a little bit of it left on the rope. And then, just like Indiana Jones, we can swing on our whip, jump to the ledge, and uh, and we can get up. So uh, so there, another puzzle, another puzzle solved. Um, but there's many more. Uh, this is a pretty long game. So um, so we we just merrily jog our way through the uh, forest here, come up to this stump. And, oh my God! Here comes a boulder, uh, which I didn't press left to jump, and uh, and that caught me a bit unaware. Uh, pretty pretty bad way to go. So um, so bearing that in mind for this time, let's uh, let's let's make a hasty retreat. There we go. So um so as you sort of progress through here, you start to find out that like oh, this isn't normal forest. There's there's not not this many booby traps in a normal. I don't know how many forests you guys have been into, but I've been in a few, and, uh, and you know, I never had this much trouble. I never had, like, rocks trying to kill me or anything, and, uh, and you know, bear traps all over the place. Um, so, so yeah, so so something's definitely up. We, we really need to question what's going on. Um, this one was a bit of a tricky one as well. First time I came across it, um, I came up to here, all this box, it's all these bugs and stuff, it's water, and I thought, ah! I'll just push this box into the, in the middle here, climb up onto it, and then I can just sort of use the physics to uh, to, to roll on it. And uh, you know that does that doesn't work, as you can see. I just drowned. Can't swim. Um, but then remembering that this little rope was sort of swinging in the ground here, I thought, ah, oh, hang on. Maybe if I come over here and I pull the box instead of trying to push it into the water, um, pull it back. To over where the rope was, I can climb up on it and uh, and get the rope, and uh, you know that works. That does work. And it unlocks this whole little like tree section where you can uh, jump around in the trees, and uh, as we'll see, a nice big prize at the end, which lets us get past that that part down there. So I'm just going to climb the trees. And, uh, you know, luckily these branches are all uh, sort of like warped and mangled, just so so that my little guy can uh, can make his way to the top here. And uh, this busted piece, just push it, and, uh, and down it goes. Visual cues in this game, and also audio cues as well. I don't know if you guys could hear um, over talking, but in the background there, there was a big splash, and because uh, the because uh, that big log fell into the water, uh, so we know that it's where we want it to be. And um, and later on in the game, you, you do need to sort of rely on the uh, audio cues as well to see if something's happening around you or you know, something has had an effect or whatever. So, so I can push this log into the middle of the water, jump over to the bank, and, and there we go. We're past that part now as well. Um, you probably notice as well, when you die, uh, you respawn really close to where you were last trying to figure out uh, a part. So it's not super unforgiving in the sense that you have to, like, restart at the start of the level. I mean, I don't think anyone will play that was the case, because you, you, you do end up dying a lot. This is, like, the first sort of mini-boss, and... Uh, I don't know what this guy's story is. He's a massive spider. It's disgusting. Look, there's like hair on his legs. Um, basically here, um, it doesn't take too long to figure out. See this trap up in the branch here? Um, when the when the spider's legs hit the ground, it shakes that tree and uh, rattles the trap. So you, you actually have to just sort of like juke him a couple of times. So like, they'll just sort of eye you up and then if you just run away, he hits the ground and you can hear that clang in the background trap. See, it's moving. So we'll just do that a couple more times, get the trap to fall down, and then we'll use that trap to uh, to kill the spider. So, um, another miss by him. He's not really paying attention. I think he can just sort of sense me coming. So let's, uh, let's pull the trap over. What we'll do is we'll juke him, get the trap under his leg, and cut his legs off with the trap. Um, it's much easier to push than it is to pull. Uh, I found it a couple times doing this, but whatever. So, uh, him think that I'm here, and actually I'm not there. It's the trap. So he just lost his leg. So whatever. Um, do the same thing again. Wait for him to do his lift and get his leg. You gotta watch this last leg, cause look, he just goes right for the stab. I, he's just mad at this point, cause he has two legs. Uh, so here we go again. Last leg side, and uh, oh, he's he's in a bad way. He broke the trap. And off he goes. He's scared now. Whew. So that was that was the spider. We got him. We got him good. Um, you know he's not going to come back. 
he's not going to come back now that he's lost three legs. He knows he knows not to mess with us. So uh, so now we're in this like little cave. Uh, it's pretty dark down here. As you can see, the camera just sort of like zooms in and zooms out. And uh, this must be the spider's home. You can see all the cobwebs and stuff in the background. A bunch of crap on the floor here. And uh, we're getting caught in it. It's very sticky. And uh, oh Christ, Christ, we're stuck. What we can do is thrust our pelvis. Um, thrust our pelvis. Oh God! Keep thrusting, and no, we can't get out. Spider's just creeped up on us. He's he's without three legs, but uh, that doesn't stop him from being hungry. So um, so he's gonna wrap us up and uh, save us for later, I guess. Uh, at this point, I thought, oh, I I, I didn't do something right, and uh, this is just like a really long death scene. Um, and then I thought, oh, hang on, I'm like in this little like cocoon. And this must just still be part of the death scene. I guess I can just wiggle and then he's going to come back and eat me or something. But no, I found that the more I wiggled, um, it actually snapped off and fell to the ground. And um, amazingly, I do this part of the level um, as like a little spider cocoon. Um, I'm trying to escape the spider. I don't want to be the spider's lunch. I mean, who does? I, I don't even like spiders at all, especially really big spiders. And um, I found this whole this whole part of the level quite disturbing, but, um, you know, I got over it, it was fine. And this reminds me of worms, actually. Um, sort of missed the little sound that the worms make in, uh, in worms. Uh, you gotta be careful, though, because, you know, he hops. So you gotta sort of angle your way up to the, uh, to the ledge there and do a full jump with the up arrow to get over. And, um, you know, it'd be nice, it'd be nice, actually, to hear the little worm sound, like the, the little hop. Oh my god, it's that jump. And, uh, fell in the pit. I was too busy thinking about worms. There you go. So uh, let's try that again. Lie down here and uh, the jump. And uh, and there's a little boulder here. Boulder that I guess we can push. Yeah, we can push it. Push it into this tree. Make it fall over. And uh, uh, we don't want to overcommit because the tree falls down and ah, oh, Jesus Christ. That wasn't too good. I need to jump out of the way next time. Um, so let's try that. Um, uh, trial and error, trial and error, lots of trial and error. You, you die a lot, but luckily it's, it's quite fun to watch your, your little guy die. I mean, not, it's not, not fun as such, but it's just interesting because you get to explore and stuff, and obviously it's not, it's not harming you at all. You're just watching a child get killed and brutally mangled by traps in a forest, but whatever. Some people like that, so, um, you know, you can't deny them too much, I guess. Anyway, um, here we go. Here's the massive Indiana Jones boulder. And, uh, we gotta use this thing to get across this sort of, like, spike pit. Um, so we just use the physics to, to make it roll. Uh, and just slowly hop our way up to the top every once in a while. To the side here, and as we can see, the big spider is, uh, is following us. Um, he's a bit slower now, because he's lost all his legs. Uh, but there you go. Get the ball into position here, and do a big jump, get out of the way, because, woof, spider, he, he was ready to get us. Uh, narrow escape, tumble down the hill, and, uh, but we shed our cocoon, so, so we're back. We're back to little Timmy boy here with his, his bright eyes and his cool haircut. Got a bit of fluff on the back of his hair. And, uh, and what's this? It's like a, a little dummy or something? Maybe we can, oh, no, it's a trap. The trap. And, uh, that dummy's now hung. And uh, it looks like we're in some sort of little, like, uh, cave or a uh, base. Like, there's, there's some stuff in the background there. Uh, this is a good one. You'd be uh, quick here. Because, <laughs> you know, that trap falls down. On. So, you can just do a swing, jump out of the way. Trap falls on its on its face, or if you like. Uh, and it's no longer a threat. And then we get up onto this rope, and, uh, and Indiana Jones are waiting side. Oh yeah. Uh, gotta love a game that has like swing, swinging rope action. I always love some swinging rope action. So the uh, the camera pans out and uh, and here we go. We're jumping, we're jumping onto uh, tree stumps and um, always a fun part in a former game, sort of jumping uh, to stuff. Uh, this is like a little switch here. When we jump onto it, it breaks. Gotta get out of the way. Uh, obviously that tree had big nails or spikes coming out of it. So uh, so we just sort of make our way through this, and um, very perilous. This always reminds me of Super Mario 1, 
don't know if you guys remember the first level, or no, not the first level, the eighth level, where there was like that really tricky jump, and they had like that little sort of um, that little pillar sort of sticking up in the middle of like a massive pit, and you had to a full running jump and time it perfectly. Oh man, good times. I, I was like six, and uh, yeah, here we go. So here we go. Um, We've got another spider, but it's not a real spider. It's a robo spider. And this this scent chills down my spine. This guy. What what's his story? What's he doing? He's uh he's operating this mechanical spider. Now we can as well. But um you know, I, I love the physics. I like how you, how you can just do it. you can let it go. Let it fall down. But uh but yeah, what what's what's that guy's problem? Why is he why is he trying to kill us? Kill us with a mechanical spider. And um it gets worse too. Now he's rolling burning tires at us. I mean, this isn't, you know, this isn't being playful at all. This is, this is worryingly homicidal. Um, we got to be careful. Got to be careful of burning tires and uh, burning rocks as well. Be careful. So, um, those two kids up there, one's got a stick, a bow staff. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna chase after them because. Um, that's just something I cannot be dealing with. Um, you know, the kid's trying to kill me. So, um, I'll, uh, hopefully I, I turn out to be the better kid, but, uh, you know, they're now hanging other kids, and this is just getting a bit... Gotta be careful of these traps here. That dual trap action. And, uh, very tricky. Obviously, you can't jump to the other side here because there's a trap now. So, uh, what you need to do is, uh, is jump up onto these ropes. And, um, coming up to, uh, Coming up to where I've never been before, actually, I played this a little bit um, over Christmas just to get a feel for the game, and uh, I, I didn't really get too too far into it. So, um, so we're gonna see me sort of come up to some new stuff, and obviously die repeatedly. Some of the puzzles take longer to figure out than others, but um, yeah, that should be okay. So here we go. We got this wide open. Oh my God! We got a spider who's killing kids. I think we can push this. We can push this and use it to get to the other side here. Jump this log. Oh god, this is actually um, quite terrifying. The spider is chasing me. He's relentless. Um, like a like a teeter totter here. Jump over. Not quite. Oh, I think we need to wait for the spider to. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh my god, I didn't run enough, and uh, this is going to be the end of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. No, for next time, uh, make sure you have a good run up. And um, Spider doesn't seem to be too picky on who he kills. He just seems to kill anybody that's in his way. Um, you know, it's pretty stereotypical of a giant spider, I guess. Right, let's get over here and let's wait for him to uh, to lift us up. We'll we'll take a running jump this time and not not a weak jump, so that we don't make it. Should be able to make it, I think. Make it? Oh, just Jesus, that was close. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Can we push this? Yes, we can. Jump up onto it. Jump over. Can we get up here? Oh, 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 God! Oh, he fell down the hole. Thank God. Ooh. All right. Ah. Okay, so we got this little thing holding the boulder. We're gonna have to break it. The boulder's gonna come down. Maybe we can just hug the wall there. Let's try that. So I'll jump on this and uh, immediately start running. Uh, oh god, I hope this works. Oh my god, it's a spider! <laughs> Jesus! Um, okay, well, that, that worked. And that was good. The spider got toasted. Whew! <laughs> stressful. Very stressful. So here we go. Continue our, our little journey into, uh, into like this base, I guess? It's like a little base. Base full of murderous kids. Um, the kind of base you want to be in. Um, but here we go. It's getting windy up here. Gusting leaves and stuff in the background. And uh, quite a big forest. A lot of uh, ground to cover. But, um, you know, you'd think the little guy would get tired. He's only got little legs. But, um, you know, it doesn't seem to bother him too, too much. So, um, so away he goes. Got a little wide open area here. And uh, here's some spikes. And oh my god. Uh, the spider's back, and uh, there's no way I can make this jump. Uh, he doesn't seem to be moving much, though. 
Uh, and that's probably because he only has one leg. Ah, uh, God, that is that is something else. I don't want to get too close to him because um, I'm afraid he'll stab me. Is he gonna stab me? Oh my God, he is. Jesus. Okay, can I? Yeah, I can jump. I can jump off. Maybe I can just like break his leg. He can't. He can't take it. He can't take the weight. Very much though. Maybe I can jump on his head and kill him. He can't handle this. No, he can handle it. It's not affecting him at all. Um, okay. Can you get me on this side? No? Push him? I seem to be able to push him a bit. Maybe. No, I can't pull him. Um, okay. Maybe I can pull him from his arm? Can I pull his arm? Oh, yeah, I can. He's resisting a bit. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I pulled his arm right off. Or his leg. It's like an arm, I guess. Or a leg. Whatever. Um, that was pretty gross. And uh, and I think now I can push him. I can probably push him into that pit of spikes. And uh, and hopefully this spells the end of this spider. Um, look at the hair on him and stuff. It's pretty disgusting. I don't really want to be doing this. This is, uh, this is pretty disturbing. But, um, but I need to carry on. And... Uh, Sacrifices need to be made, and luckily it's just a giant spider, because nobody likes spiders, and all spiders should just die a horrible death in pit of spikes. Wow, that's a big crow. Um, and a dead child in a box. Uh, Jesus. Okay, uh, I don't know if those boxes are for anything, so let's go down here and see. Put a ladder, and, uh, and a ledge that's too high to jump up to. We can jump to it from up. You can t you can take fall damage in this game. It's worth noting. I wonder if I can do that. Let's try. Let's try jumping this. Let's see what happens. Way no. And, uh, God. Legs. That's uh, that's a shame. Okay. So I probably need to get these boxes somehow. So let's uh, let's get up there and see how we how we uh, climb in the ladder. Make my way round. And uh I guess jump on this box. Maybe this guy's alive. No. Is he alive? Hello? Are you alive? No? I'm gonna fall off in a minute. Um oh look, the rope looks like a bit frayed on that side. Maybe we can uh Maybe we can weaken it by doing some jumping. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's really satisfying, isn't it? Now we got this box. We can just push it down here. Pushing a box to the ledge. Then we can just climb up on it. Climb up the ledge. Hooray, we did it. We did it. We're we're past that part. That wasn't too hard. Too bad. So uh um, so we're going into some cave now, I guess. Um can't hear outside sounds anymore. Got a bit of water here. Um some stuff floating in the water. I don't know what that is. But uh, oh I can just about walk through the water without drowning, so that's good. And uh oh god. Okay, well, there's um, there's dead bodies floating in the water here. Uh, maybe I can jump on. Let's try. Yeah. Oh my God. Who's that? Now, why does he have a light on his head? And why is he swimming towards me? Um. Uh, okay. He um, he just killed himself. He just drowned himself. And, uh. Now I guess I can just jump onto his corpse. Can I? Yes, I. Maybe jump up and down on him a little bit as well. Poor guy. I, I don't know what his story is, but yeah, that's um, it's not the best way to go. Especially seeing as he could have just changed his mind and, and not run into the water and drown himself. But maybe things are so terrible this way that uh, that's just what happens. Okay, uh, a sinister kid on the other side, just looking at me. We, we're making eye contact, and he's he's giving me his best grill, but. He doesn't seem to be moving. There's a tripwire down there, and there's a really massive block of something above me. And uh, I bet you a million bucks that that tripwire uh, is going to set off the block. Let's test that. Oh yeah, there we go. We're dead. Um, so we're going to have to find something to uh, to set off that tripwire that's not us, because there's no way of getting out of there. And uh, yeah, here we go. We can pull this. We can pull this body of Ild. 
and uh, we can push him as well. We're pushing him by his ass, and his face is probably getting ripped off as we push him along the ground here. This is pretty gruesome stuff, but uh, there we go. So we'll give him a, one last ass push, and uh, we'll let him trigger that and get just under there. Uh, he was already dead, so it's not it's not a problem. But uh, it just means that we we can continue on. And um, oh god, what are those things in the ceiling? That's disgusting. They're fighting over like that worm, I guess. I'm stepping on some things that are exploding now as well. Oh, they're disgusting. I I'm out of here. I don't I didn't even want to even want to find out what they are. Oh, here's another guy with a light on his head. Can I pull up? No? Hello? Hello? No? No. The answer is no. So let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's see. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay for time. So uh, let's try to get past, like, one more. We'll call it there. Um, I guess I just need to avoid that thing that's sticking up in the middle, because obviously that thing's going to come, come down. I mean, it's just got to. So if I jump over it, I should be... Oh my god. Okay. Um, maybe we just have to, like, juke it a little bit? Should we try to juke it? Juke it a little? We juke it? No? Oh my god. Um, that's a really sensitive trap thing on the ground there. Um, okay. Can I... Is there anything back here that I can pull to put onto the... No? I can't get back up there. There's nothing I can pull here. Um, god, maybe I can just, like, jump quickly? I don't know, though, it's pretty long. Maybe I just need to jump to that bit in the middle that's sticking. Let's try that. Um, can we... Oh, god. Okay, so, maybe... Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. That's, that's fine. Uh oh, here's another one. Let's do the same thing. Oh, oh, god. I guess that one's, like, the, the rest of the other one. And, uh, oh, this is the first one again. Jump over that. And then this one, we, we don't want to jump on that thing. Okay, cool. That was, that, that was those two things. Spike pit here. Just jump over and, uh, oh my god. Uh, there's a guy dead here with arrows. The, Jesus, these guys are coming after me. They make it over? He can't. Oh, these guys can. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, so I guess I gotta be quick and run back through those traps. Um, and hopefully the traps will kill those those two boys running after me. This is um, this is scary stuff. Um, I'm getting stressed out here. Okay, let's let's do this. We get it this time. Um, start running. Helmet guy is gonna gonna bite it. Let's get through here. And then we gotta jump onto this one. This kid doesn't know. Let's watch him. Let's watch him. Whoa. Yep. We just killed three kids. Um. But that's nothing compared to how many kids they seem to have killed. I mean, poor Reggie over here with, uh, with arrows in his back. He didn't survive long. And, um, what a way to go. The other guy fell in the spike trap. Whew, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight now. This is this is a bit too much for me. But um, yeah, I think we'll end here actually. Uh, this is a good spot to end um, after all that excitement. Um, Limbo, like I said, is a great game, and I hope I've proven that to you uh, through doing this this little quick play. I probably won't do a full playthrough of this, uh, but I'll definitely come back to this and finish it because uh, I like it a lot. Um, I got it gifted to me, um, of course, by Jason Dillon. Uh, thanks very much again for that. But um, but it's cheap on Steam. I mean, it's only like 6.99 regularly on Steam. It was on sale over the uh, over the Christmas holidays. I think it was 1.99. So I mean, even if you pick this up at full price, it's totally worth it. It's a fantastic game. It's it's beautiful. I love like the art and everything. I like the little guy and his and his little eyes and stuff. And um, you know, pick it up in the sale by all means. But um, you know, don't be pay full price. This game's totally worth it. And, uh, you know, it supports the guy who, who made this, who's obviously very talented. And, uh, you know, it'd be nice to see some more stuff from him. So, um, so there you go. Um, that was it. That was the, uh, that was the evening with Sips. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Obviously, it's, uh, it's gonna get more subs subscriptions. 
And um, I hope you guys like what we're doing with the League of Legends stuff. Um, it's probably worth saying that you know we're not going to be focusing like too heavily on it uh, in the sense that you know the channel's not going to just become a huge League of Legends focused channel. It's just something that we like to play, me and Shin on the side, and uh, something that we like to cover as well. We like to talk about it a lot. So we'll be posting videos from time to time, but by no means are we, you know, trying to sort of focus on it or anything. We'll still be doing playthroughs. You know, Orcs Must Die, we still got episodes coming out for that. And uh, we'll be looking at other games to do playthroughs, and obviously the evening tips and all the other random crap that comes out of the, um, the Cast live screens. So, live screens? Streams. Yeah, live streams. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for all that, and um, as usual, keep sending me all your comments and feedback and stuff. I, I read most of it, so um, I like to know what you guys think about stuff. So um, so yeah, on that note, I'll um, I'll see you later, and uh, and thanks for watching.